In the waters of WA, researchers are trying to solve a mystery. So that's a breeding female ready to, ready to breed. This western rock lobster has a healthy cluster of eggs. Question is, what's happening once they hatch? Whilst these beautiful big breeders seem to be thriving, there's little sign of a baby boom. Numbers for the juvenile rock lobsters, the very small ones, are at a 40 year low. And scientists here in WA are trying to find out why. The adult lobsters are measured, tagged and sent back to the deep. They appear healthy, but their offspring has been disappearing at a rate that could threaten the entire industry. So WA fishery scientist Dr Nick Caputi is on the larvae's trail. Try and understand what other factors have influenced the low settlement of juveniles in the last two years in particular. Computer modelling shows the lobster larvae's incredible journey. This is the larvae being released from the inshore waters along here um, during that late spring summer period. Then they undergo a, a migration hundreds of kilometres offshore for a period of nine to eleven months. And um, these green dots that are coming on the coast represent larvae which have gone through that migration phase offshore and are settling back on the coast. Ten monitoring stations are dotted along WA's vast coastline, from Shark Bay to Margaret River. These collectors attract juveniles, so researchers can keep tabs on the number of young lobsters returning inshore. 2005 was the last bumper settlement season, but it's been all downhill since then. The settlement in the last three years, shown by the blue, is well below the average expected. And, so, and that culminated in a very low settlement in 2008 and 9, the lowest in 40 years. As for why this is happening, well, it's still too early for answers. Although one theory is, of course, climate change. Warming water could be affecting currents. That might mean that fewer larvae are being swept back toward the coast. Researchers are regularly monitoring water temperature at different depths, but it'll take time for any pattern to emerge. Meanwhile, WA Fisheries has had to get tough to protect the lobster industry by introducing restrictions and closures. It's a drastic measure, but these are desperate times. And there's a lot at stake. The industry's worth around $300 million a year. So the theory is by bringing in these restrictions now, they hope to save the lobster before it's too late.